and welcome. And this is Francisco from Dr. Phone, and today I would like to talk about three different methods of transferring your contacts from your iPhone to an Android device so that you can keep your contact no matter which device you're using. Also, I would strongly recommend if you stick around until the very end of this video because we're running a very special giveaway. So go ahead and stay tuned. And before we actually go and walk you through every step of the way, I would like to explain how each method works very briefly, and then we'll dive right in. Method number one is through Dr. Phone's own software, and this method requires a computer where you can plug both phones onto it and then choose what it is that you would like to transfer between devices like so. Method number two requires the iTool software to back up your contacts onto your computer first, and then move them over to your Android device afterwards. And method number three is just a pretty simple iCloud transfer where you back up your data using iCloud and then on your desktop, you download everything again and then transfer it over manually to your Android device. And with that said, let's go ahead and dive right into method number one. And okay, so first off, we're going to start off with method number one. And this is going to revolve using our doctor phone software. In this case, all that we have to do is just go into phone transfer since we're doing more so I would direct transfer between two devices. This is actually the easiest method, in my opinion, if you do have a computer available to you. So this is going to be very important. Now this is going to download the phone transfer portion of it, and then we can go ahead and click on it, and it's going to open everything up. And as it opens everything up, it's going to show us exactly, we just have to get a minute for, for the data of everything in order to be read through Dr. Phone software first before we are able to continue further. Now we're good to go on both ends. And as you can see, we actually have our Google Pixel 4, which is going to be our Android example. And we have Francisco's iPhone on this side, which is going to be our iPhone example. However, what we want to do is transfer all of our contacts the other way around. So what we're gonna do actually is go ahead and click on the flip button and then it's going to flip these around so that all of our data from the iPhone can be transferred over to the Google Pixel instead. So that is going to be our main priority here. So once we're here on this list right at the very middle between both devices, we can actually see that it gives us the option to transfer very specific things like contacts, even the contact ban list, have like text messages and calendars and reminders and alarms and bookmarks and that sort of thing. Like we can transfer a bunch of different things this method. And we definitely have a ton of photos that we could transfer if we wanted to. However, since we're focusing on contacts for today, all that we have to do is click on contact. And since this iPhone is brand new, we pretty much only have very few ones to actually transfer over. But if you click on, on any box here, the transfer start button is going to become immediately available. So all I have to do is click on start transfer. Now this is going to show us that the transfer has actually been completed here. On the free version, you can only transfer up to five contacts and then that exact same content should be available on your Google Pixel 4 or any Android device that you used for this process. So that essentially caused the end of method number one. You should go back and check like, just to make sure and that the contact is actually available on your Android device without having to do anything else. And then after that, you're good to go. So now we're ready to move over to method number two. And okay, so right now we're gonna go ahead and get started with method number two, which is going to revolve around using iTools in order to transfer all, all of our contacts from our iPhone over to our computer and then re-download them back over to our Android device. So in this case, what we're going to do is actually go under info and contacts, and then it's going to tell us to go ahead and follow these steps on the iPhone, which I'm going to do right now. And once you've done so, all you have to do is click on disabled here. And it's going to show us here that we actually have one contact. So all that we have to do is click on this, and then we're going to click on export. And then we can actually go ahead and export that as as a vCard file. So that way we can always have access to it. Um, let's go ahead and leave that on our desktop actually. That ought to make things a little bit easier. Okay, so the file is going to be right here. And one way that you can actually transfer this over to yourself is essentially by attaching it to, to your email. As you can't exactly just download this directly 
onto your Android device. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the email app. And then all we have to do is click on compose. I'm just gonna go ahead and send it to myself here. And then, then all that I have to do in order to attach this file is just go back over here and then click and drag it. All you have to do is click on send and I should be able to receive it right away. And once I do, all I have to do is I just go back on my Android device and then just download it straight away from there. So this is actually a very easy method of doing so, as now you should have your contacts into your, your device. And then the final method, which is method number three, here we will be using iCloud uh, to make the transfer. And we can just go on our iPhone and then settings, iCloud, and then contacts to enable the switch and have it synced with iCloud. And after it's finally all synced up, well, we can go ahead and go over to our computer that's so we can finish the process once and for all. And okay, so after we finally sunk all of our contacts over using iCloud on the iPhone first, now we actually have to go to our computer. And since we're here, we open up web browser, we go on iCloud.com, and then we log in with our own iCloud credentials in this case. I'm already logged in, and I'm going to go ahead and click on contacts. And then once I do so, it's going to show me this contact that I have here. And let's say that if I wanted to download this only, then all that I would have to do is click on this torque wheel over here and then click on export V card. And then it's going to give me the file with the contact information, which is going to be right here. And the next step is just going to be to transfer this contact over to our Android device. And then from here, you can actually just go over to your email and then you can just go ahead and email that file to yourself. So what I'm going to do here is just compose a quick email to myself and I'm going to attach, since I went ahead and I saved it to my desktop, all that I have to do is come over here and then go over to my desktop and I should see it just lying around here. And I'm going to see that the V file is going to be right over here. It's going to have the file name and then it is going to be attached to your end. Well, I obviously don't need to go ahead and add a subject and I'm just going to go ahead and press send. And then as soon as I receive it, all I have to do is open up this file again on my Android phone and then just download it directly. And then it should import it directly into my contacts. And that is one method of exporting your contacts. And that is pretty much it for method number three. Now we've given you three different easy methods of transferring your contacts from your iPhone to an Android device. And hopefully all of these tips will actually come in handy for you and that they were helpful in general. And as promised, here are the details on the giveaway. And we're giving away six $50 Amazon gift cards on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. All that you have to do in order to enter is just leave a comment on the post that talks about the giveaway. And we would like for you to comment about which features you would like to see implemented onto our Dr. Phone software. And also leave a like on the post. And you can add three friends also for Instagram or on Facebook in order to get them in the know about this giveaway. And then we're going to select six winners in total in terms of likes per platform. Make sure that you don't miss out because 50 bucks can actually get you a lot on Amazon. So links to everything are going to be found down below in the description. And now if you found this video useful, make sure to leave us a like and leave a comment on what you thought and with any questions since we'd like to do our best in order to be able to help you out and also share it with others if you think that someone else can benefit from seeing this video and we would appreciate that quite a bit and also don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this and with that said this has been francisco from dr phone and i will be seeing you next time have a good one